It's Monday to show the sideline chick some love after going undefeated in her picks. I'm gonna go take her to the Christina Aguilera concert tonight. I'm gonna surprise her, we'll see how it works out. All right, so we just pulled up to Mascadores. The sideline chick swears that this place gets super good like Yelp reviews, she's kind of a Yelper. So if you see her on Yelp, uh, shout her out. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna get? Burrito, for sure. Burrito. Me too, Yo, I'm thinking carne asada variety. Anyways, uh, we'll check back in in a little bit. All right, so Mascadores was a winner that I picked. I actually picked. I, I actually picked. picked. I so shout out to Mascadores. It's close to Corona del Sol. And tonight, to finish off the night, we do have to go see her favorite coach. Um, can you guess which one? Too much pressure. I have a couple favorites. Which one comes to mind first? Queen uh, Creek. Oh, she likes Travis Sherman. But the funny thing is, is we are not going to see that favorite coach actually in town tonight, Christina Aguilera. So we're gonna see her favorite coach on The Voice. You're lying. Dang, for some wine. Yeah, we're for real is gonna go. Right now? We're gonna drop the leftovers off and then we're gonna be on our way. <laughs> That's our happy dance. Anyways, I'll check back in. Um, might show you guys a little bit of the concert. Make sure that you guys subscribe, justchilly.tv, show some love, support, comment, likes, all that stuff. And I'll check back in from Friday Night Football. Just Chili? I think you find that. Okay. Does anyone? The playoffs are upon us, and tonight I am going to check out Perry versus Basha uh, going down over at Perry. I can't wait to see Colby Dickey, uh, Ty Sipperman. Uh, I think it's going to be a big matchup. Uh, they just played last week, and a lot of people think that Basha gave Perry their best shot. Oh, finally she showed up, and we're so appreciative. And after that, we are going to try to catch the second half of Queen Creek versus Red Mountain going down at the creek. I think both of these games have upset written all over them. Make sure that you guys subscribe, justchili.tv, thumbs up, comments, all the good stuff, and troll me on Twitter at justchili. Oh yeah. What was the hardest part about this turnaround? A two-win team, you had to come change the culture, but nothing that you're unfamiliar with. It was a lot easier than, uh, than you know, the outside, the people from the outside would think. You know, we have a really great senior class of kids, and honestly, they're high-character kids who, who wanted this. I mean, they're out here, they're the ones that play hard every week, you know, and, and so, uh, quite frankly, we as a staff are blessed to have just great senior kids. How, how good is Ty Sipperman as a pure football player? Well, I mean, he was, he was nominated as one of the top players in the state and I think he's he's one of the best all-around football players in the state you're talking about a kid that led the region in uh, receptions receiving yards you're talking about a kid that led the region in interceptions and you're talking about a kid that was second in the region in field goals made you know resume speaks for itself and the emergence of uh, Chubba Purdy uh, how special is he I mean he's I feel like he's so different than his brother you know he's bigger he's faster he's stronger and we let Brock know that on a regular basis you know and uh, he can run real well, but uh, he's his own guy. He's a totally different guy to coach. He's been real joy. Uh, it's a fun, fun difference. How, how good is this uh, Perry secondary? I, uh, Travis Callaway might be the best safety in the state. In my opinion. He's an uh, unbelievable tackler. He's a great wrestler, but uh, just tough, tough as nails. What can we expect tonight versus last week? Uh, who knows? Who knows if two guys uh, rematch like this, but uh, they're a very well coached team and they play extremely hard and got a lot of respect from not only our coaches, but our kids, I think, you know. Uh, they're, they're a great football team and we're excited about the opportunity to play them again. Hey, hey, real quick, can, can you please help me fix this? Everybody swears that I stay Perry hating, but what's the truth? Nah, he be, he be on our side, though. I low-key, I, I, I give him a problem. He's been low-key. How's the leg doing? Uh, it's coming along. You know, I started walking a lot sooner than I should have. Because you're a warrior. You're a gladiator. <laughs> I've been in PT. You know, I've been doing my work trying to get back on the field as fast as possible. So. Uh, what's your analysis of what Brock Purdy's doing this season? 
you know, he doing what he do, you know, he can't, I, I mean, everybody around the country is surprised, but I feel like all of us in Arizona, we're like, oh, yeah, this is something yeah. that we expected. Yeah, it, it's like everybody talking about the Arizona, but they ain't nothing, like, like, you come out here, you see Brock Purdy play, his high school highlights, they, they ain't nothing to mess with, I'm telling you. Now, talk to me about Chubba Purdy, what makes him so special and different than his brother, because everybody wants to compare the two, but I think they're so different. I, I think they're different, too, and the aspect of them knowing the game and taking their advantages and putting it towards the game. Like what makes Chubba Chubba? His deep throws. I think the way he throws the football makes Chubba Chubba. And the fact that he can basically go off and turn it on and off at any time that he wants to, that's, what, that's Chubba. Kobe Dickey, what have you seen in him in terms of like maturity and stuff, having to become the man since you got injured? I think he's developed a lot more in understanding the game and trying to figure out where Chubba thinks he's going to be and basically help Chubba out as much as he can, get open all the time because he's the guy that's going to open up in the one-on-ones. He's got the speed, he's got the hands, you know. Kobe Dickey's been just that guy for a while. You know, he opened up stuff for Brock too and then he, opens, he even opened stuff up for me last year, so he's just that guy. I know that you're about to go to college and stuff, so real quick, I gotta know, you know, what are some of your favorite classes? It's math for me. I, not a lot of people like math, but I'm trying to go up there to be an engineer. I'm trying to get that money. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I mess with math. That's, that's basically what I do. I don't want to work. All right, man. Uh, go ahead, shout out your math teacher real quick. Show some love. My, I took online, but my other math teacher junior was Miss Paula. She was a, she helped me a lot. She got you hyped, huh? <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna let you go back in that locker room, hype the kids up, hey, cause that battle of Valvista taking place. We remixing oh, yeah. that joint oh, yeah. live from John We've been, we been here already though. We, we staying right here, but we ain't going nowhere. I promise you. All right, you see the scoreboard ticking behind us. You know what time it is. I got the sideline chick hanging out with me. It's your boy Chili, and I gotta do prediction time. I think both of these games that we are gonna be out at tonight have upset written all over them. First game, Perry versus Basha, sideline chick. What do you think? I'm going with Perry. P picking the favorite, you know, I'm not mad at that. Uh, Chubba Purdy, Colby Dickey gonna try to do their thing. Ty Sipperman, we'll see what he's got in the bag. Um, second game, Queen Creek, Red Mountain. What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm gonna go with Red Mountain for that one. Ooh, trying to take the upset over there. Um, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. These are the playoffs, one and done. So, uh, anyways, I gotta get to this game right now and we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. This basketball team, they're doing everything that I said that they would do. They're six and four. You played on the team last year. What have been some of the biggest differences that you've seen on the outside looking in? Uh, the coaches look like they're actually out there coaching. We had uh, a handful of good coaches last year. The rest of them were just spectators, so it's nice to see a good coaching staff out there um, actually providing some assistance to the kids, so I can definitely tell. And all my boys are on the team. Um, I obviously had some injuries last year, and uh, I just ended up not playing this year because of the coaching situation last year. Uh, it just didn't really work out for me, but I mean, it, all in all, like looking in on it, um, it's nice to see the energy and everything and everything that's brought this year. What's it going to take for Bash to win tonight? As long as we just contain Chubba, I think we'll be chilling. Honestly, our defense is locked down. We have a really good defense this year, and I knew that going into the season, how great the defense would be. So I really wish we could get 22 Ty Sippermans out there. 22 Ty Sippermans. I'm telling you, man, if you hear 22 Ty Sippermans laugh, you're going to take that back. Go, 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 go
All right, so leaving Perry right now. Uh, Perry is leading Basha 10 to seven. It just kind of looks like Perry can't get anything going offensively. And Basha fully has Perry playing the game that they want. Basha completely has frustrated Perry, so it's 10 to seven at the half. Basha got an interception to kill a Perry drive, and Perry got an interception to kill Basha's last drive. Anyways, on our way to Queen Creek, we'll be right back. Uh, all right, so just playing for Queen Creek Red Mountain and the score is tied seven to seven and a half. And we're about to get this uh, third quarter started and I'm gonna check right back in because I'm late. it was gonna work out last second pass from Darren Smith to your boy Rivera I knew it'd be a dog fight that's all I can tell you and it was <laughs> how special is Darren Smith he's a winner and he's figuring it out and he's getting better and better every week uh, what do you got to say about your team uh, you guys have had some injuries you guys have faced adversity everybody talks about Mesa ain't it Mesa ain't the spot <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep fighting every week with whoever shows up and uh, we got kids we got kids we got coaches and we're, we're gonna do great things what do you expect to next week first pinnacle you marcus Lidman versus shaq daniels uh how's it all gonna work out it's gonna work out to be a great game uh we took, we had them in the scrimmage so we kind of we've kind of introduced ourselves and them to us so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun you did your homework then you did your homework <laughs> always all right so talk to me about that new york flavor that new york swag that you put on that ball at the end what did you see out there how did it break down I was—I just saw Rocket wide open, like down the sideline. 
and one on one, let him throw it up, let him go make a play. And after the loss to Perry, people say that you guys weren't it, you guys weren't top 10. Uh, what were you guys telling each other all season long? Well, we were just telling each other we're going to get better and better every week. And uh, we had a lot of injuries happen this season, but it's next man up mentality. And you guys got to be road warriors. You guys got Pinnacle next, and you guys got to go all the way out there. And what can we expect in that big showdown with you and JD Johnson? Um, I think we can expect a lot of points. Shut down the city. My, hey, my boy doing it out here big. Uh, talking about this Queen Creek team, the game went down to the wire. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I, that Our offense pulled it out, and then our defense just had to had to had to end it. You guys got Pinnacle up next. The Marcus Lisbon show, that's what they're saying. You ready? Oh, oh always. Yeah, we uh we're ready coming to Queen Creek and cause they, they like the their pass game, shut that down, so we're coming to Pinnacle. What can we expect with you, Libman, JD uh, Johnson on the field? I, I hope they test me. I hope they test me. What's the hardest part about these quarterbacks just not throwing the ball your way? Um I I just I always have to stay ready. I always have to do my thing. I can't I can't take a play off because then that's when they will test me. Especially Pinnacle. I know Pinnacle will try to get us to fall asleep in the secondary and we can't do that. Have you have you have you kind of had a checklist going on every receiver that you've had to cover? You've had to cover a lot of tough ones, the Solomon Buchanan. Uh, you guys played fair, you had to go through the Colby Dickies. Uh, what's it been like all season? It's been fun is what it has been. I like going against these these uh known receivers and, and getting to uh, do my thing against them and see how I match up. How's school going? Uh, talk to me about your classes. Yeah, school's going real well. I'm actually, I got all A's and B's and I'm about to take the SAT uh, tomorrow, so. Hey, well go go get that rest because yeah. you got that work tonight. Exactly. Go get that rest, handle that business. Red Mountain, we see them next week. All right, the final score from Queen Creek, 37-34. Red Mountain advances, they get pinnacle next week. The game was absolutely madness. Crazy fourth quarter, craziness. She almost got a heart attack, and she wanted to be wrong on this one, but, and still.